that's right behind me in the summer on a weekly basis, sometimes on a daily and nightly basis. Over 45,000 fans, men, women, boys, girls, will gather to watch a bunch of men act like little boys playing a game for millions and millions of dollars. It is crazy. We all have strong opinions about it. But that's not really the most intriguing thing to me. The most intriguing thing to me is not what happens on this field behind me, but what happens on sand lots and grass fields in cities just like this one, maybe even where you live, where boys and girls will gather and play a game similar to this one, just on a little bit smaller scale. And they love to act like the players that play on the bigger field. They get out there and want to swing and hit just like last year's batting champion. They want to get out there and feel the ball and, and play defense just like last year's gold glove winner. They want to throw the ball and pitch to the batter and act and imitate last year's Cy Young Award winner. But we all know that these kind of idols and imitating these kind of people are not really what is best for us as apostolics and Christians, believers in Jesus Christ. What is most important is that we imitate Jesus Christ. He set an example for us. He lived his life in such a way and he filled us with his power so that we can live like him. His role that he played on this earth ought to be our role. His mission that he lived this life with ought to be our mission. The authority that he lived this life with, he gave us that authority. We ought to live out that power and live out that authority just like Jesus Christ. I challenge you to join us this next series in the Discipleship Project as we look at just that, the imitation of Jesus Christ. And let's live our lives like him so that we can please him and honor him and obey his word.